guys, Gina here from Orchid and Opal Jewelry and Beads, and I'm here today with a beaded ring tutorial for you guys. I have worn these rings in a couple of my recent videos, and I've had a bunch of people ask me to do a tutorial on them, so I am happy to oblige, and that's what I'm here to show you today, how to make these rings. And basically, it's an exercise in what's called the even count flat peyote stitch. So if you haven't done the peyote stitch, you're going to learn how to do it today. And uh, to make these rings, you want to pick out two colors of your choice of 11-0 Delica beads. So Delica beads are a little different than seed beads. They are more of a uh, little brick shaped bead. You know, they have the flat sides as opposed to the rounder sides that the uh, seed beads have so they fit together kind of like bricks they fit together really really well so pick out your colors and we will get started to make a ring you will need two different colors of 11-0 delica beads you will need a beading needle a pair of scissors and i use six pound fire line but you can use a beading thread of your choice and you'll need about five feet Okay, so you have your colors picked out of your Delica beads, your little cylinder shaped beads. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working in rows um, going this way. And we're going to be making a flat piece that we're going to finally join at the end to make a circle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to string on two of our outer edge color then four of our inner color, and then two more of our edge color. So I'm doing my edge color as this bronze. So I'm stringing on two of those, and then four peach, and then two more bronze. Okay, so you should have a pattern that kind of looks like this on your needle. Now pull it down and you want to leave yourself about a six inch tail and you could put a stop bead on the end I'm not gonna to bother to do that because it's not a very wide strip that we're working with so I feel like I can just kinda of hold on to this with my finger without um, beads going everywhere so pull those down like I said till you have about a six inch tail and hold the beads with your thumb and your forefinger so that they won't go flying off the end so now to get the classic peyote brick type laying pattern, we want to string on another one of our edge color. So I'm stringing on a bronze. And then I am going to be going back through the second to the last bronze bead that I had put on originally. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this, makes like a little T at the top. And then we want to string on one of our middle colors. So I'm going to string on one of our peach and I'm going to skip this peach and then go through the next peach. Okay. And once you get the hang of it and once you get going, it does become easier. It does take a little bit of practice. And once you get a bigger strip, it is easier to hang on to and everything tends to fall into place um, quite a bit better. Okay, so we want to pick up another peach. And we're skipping over this one right here. And we're going to go through the next one, or our very last central color, going down that one. And again, continuing to hold the beads with your thumb and your forefinger so that they don't go flying off. Okay, so you should have something like this at this point, and like I said, it's gonna fall into place better as we go. So don't worry if it looks a little bit wonky at this point. Okay, now we're gonna pick up another one of our edge colors. So I'm picking up a bronze, skipping the first bronze that I get to and going through the very bottom bead. Okay. I'm pulling that. OK. 
Okay. So you should have something that looks like this at this point. And you see how the beads are starting to form that brick pattern. And you have these beads that are sticking out, which it helps you to determine which beads you'll be going through next. So you're going to be going through each of the beads that are sticking out and ignoring the beads that are on the inside. So from here, let's start our third row. So let's pick up another of our end color. So I'm picking up a bronze and going through the bronze that is sticking out. Just going back up in the opposite direction. Okay. And then we're going to pick up a peach or a central color and go through the peach that's sticking out. And again, we're going to pick up another central color. So I'm picking up a peach and I'm going through the peach that's sticking out. And this just pops those beads right into place. And then again, we're going to pick up another end color. So I'm picking up a bronze and I'm going through this bronze at the top that is sticking out and it's going to pop that bronze right into place just like that. Okay, and don't worry about these little beads on the bottom. They will um, get back into shape once we get going. And like I said, as you have a longer strip, things tend to fall into place a little bit better. All right, so we're ready to go down to make our fourth row. So you can see our beads that are sticking out here. We need to add in end color, so I'm picking up a bronze and I'm going through this bronze that's sticking out. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up a peach and I'm going to go down through the peach that's sticking out. another peach and down through the next peach that's sticking out. So this is basically all that there is to flat even count peyote stitch and there's lots of different patterns out there that you can do. This is just one particular pattern that I decided I wanted to do to make these rings. I wanted something that was um, Kind of minimalist and modern and there you go so that was our fourth row and we're ready to go back up and through all these beads that are sticking out once again so let's pick up an outer bead so another bronze go through the bronze that's sticking out Then we're going to pick up a peach. And you can try this with seed beads. It's just the Delica beads fit so well together due to the flat sides. Going through the next peach that's sticking out. And make sure you're pulling these nice and tight as you go and then through the top with another bronze. So you can definitely see already how the pattern is coming together and we're going to continue this pattern until you get to a length that fits around your finger. So whichever finger you want to make it for, like this one's bigger, I made it for my thumb, this one's a little bit smaller for my ring finger, but you're basically going to be making a strip out of this pattern until you get to the length that you're happy with that'll wrap all around your finger and then I will show you how to join this together. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with my strip. I'm going to string on a few more beads while I have you with me and then we will go ahead and 
put our ends together and make this into our ring by making it round. So I'm just finishing this up. And what I want to note is that you need to make sure that you end on a row that will fit directly with your other row. And what I mean by that is these pieces will fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, just like that. And that's how you're gonna put them together. Um, so you wanna make sure you end on a pattern that is opposite of the one on this end so that they will fit together. So I'm gonna put this around my finger and see if it's the length that I want. And if not, I will do a couple more rows. And I am gonna do two more rows. So we'll do that together. Because it shouldn't take very long. And then we can finish it up. It's always better when we get to closer to the end of this project and there's a lot more to hang on to and the thread is not as long either which makes it easier to uh, to do. So this should be my last row that I'm doing. Okay. Let's see here. Yep, so those are going to fit together really nicely. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to join the two ends. So hold your two ends together as best you can, just like that. And whichever end you're coming out of, so I'm coming out of this one right here, you want to then go up through the other end. So this is the other end of my piece. I'm gonna go through this bead and this bead to join. I'm gonna be joining the entire row, but we're just gonna go through a couple beads at a time in order to do this more easily. So I've gone through those two beads and then, let's see, I'm going to go through these two peach beads. So I'm basically picking up a bead from this end and a bead from this end and going through them and joining it together. So then continuing on, I'm going to go through this peach bead and this peach bead like that. And then finally, I'm going to go through this bronze and this bronze right here and pull it nice and tight. Okay, and you can see that our piece is now in the round. We just need to continue joining it um, so that it's more secure. So I'm going to go back down through the bronze that's next to it and diagonally down through as many beads as I can get to at this point all at one time and you see how it's now pretty much seamless so you can't even you know once we have our thread knotted off and everything um, you won't even be able to tell where this stops and starts which is really cool those delica beads just fit together so well so just continue going diagonally through some of your beads and right now I'm going to go ahead and make a little half hitch knot right through this loop right next to where I'm coming out. So I'm going to make one knot there and then I'm going to go down through some, some more beads and through some more till I get to the other end. Right now we're just securing our piece. So to do that we want to go 
kind of back and forth weaving our remaining thread through maybe two or three times making two or three knots along the way so you can see I'm coming out of this end again and I'm going to go right through the little loop that's next to it and make a little half hitch knot here pull it tight and I'm going to go back down through some more beads I'll probably do this one more time. And then we'll need to secure our tail. Okay, so I made my third and final knot and now I'm just gonna go probably halfway through diagonally through some more beads and then I'm going to clip my thread right there. So let me get my clippers. Okay, so now I'm going to put my needle on my tail thread and basically do the same thing. I'm going to be making a little knot and then weaving through and then making another knot and weaving through and doing that two or three times till I feel that it is secure. So I'm going to start out by making a little knot right here, just like that. And I'm going to go down through some of these beads here. And if you can just get through a couple at a time, that's okay. Just take your time. There we go. And another knot. And I'm going to go down through this way. And I'm going to make one final knot right here where I'm coming out. And I'm going to go through a few more beads just like that. And I'm going to cut my tail thread right there. All right guys, so as you can see, we have made another beautiful ring from our lovely flat even count peyote stitch. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave me a comment or a question at the bottom of this post. And I wanna thank you again for joining me as always and I hope to see you soon on my next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would also love for you to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Etsy, Orchid and Opal Jewelry. Thanks for watching.